Here we go. Welcome to uh, welcome to Pacific City. It's Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog, and I'm going to uh, we're doing a rehearsal here. Uh, Jeff Hickman and Rob Russell are coming down to um, tie some flies, and uh, we're going to see how this video works out. So I'm just I'm just doing a warm up, and uh, I barely know what I'm doing. But here we go. And this is going to be a simple steelhead, a winter. Oh, come on. This fly will catch steelhead in four seasons, depending on the mood of the fish and the water conditions and the mental health of the angler. So I've got a. Uh, some pro sport fisher classic tube there in a medium. I've got some Senyo's fusion dub in a loop. Got to mention these things because you know we gotta gotta keep the economy moving. Don't be going to craft stores to buy your stuff. That's that's not okay. So um, I'm gonna use a piece of schlappen in the rear of this fly. Uh, why am I picking purple? I have no idea. I often tie this fly with a silver Dr. Blue in the back. But here's the thing. I, uh, at present, currently, right now, I do not have access to silver Dr. Blue schlappen. I get Kingfisher Blue schlappen, but not silver Dr. Blue. I'm folding that. Tackle. So uh, when I do use a silver Dr. Blue at the butt of this fly, I just buy saddle hackle and I look for the longest saddles with a little bit of fluff at the base and there aren't very many in a package. So right now I grab purple and purple's a nice, purple's one of those all-time steelhead colors. And I'm reaching down, you can't see it, but I'm getting a little bit of flash. Here we go. But you know what? It's too soon for that. What I first need is some ostrich. And I think I'm gonna go with a blue ostrich. And Gonna make it a little bit longer than my schlappen and marabou will be. Why? Well, I, I could make it about the same length, but I like it to be a little bit longer because I like to have it. Boy, I drop that ostrich plume. I do that all the time. I like uh, on this fly. I would like my ostrich to be a little bit longer so that the tips hang out in the water. I'm going to tease those out a little bit further and make a give give a nice wiggle. They don't make a wiggle, they they give a wiggle, they yield a wiggle. The words we use to describe our Flies are really important as we strive for accuracy. We also strive for inspiration. So that whoa, how did those fibers get pointed in opposite directions? So we like to use phrases and word combinations that inspire confidence in our fly, like sparkle and presence and translucence and all that kind of good stuff. I've got no place to put my, I forgot to bring my little waste container, waste bin. Probably be a great place for me to plug a attached to your vice, low profile trash bin, but I forget what they're called. So I won't. 
So is this a good time? Uh, I think first I'm going to put on a marabou plume. What I was wondering is when do I add my flashaboo? Well, cement here. I have no idea if I've been putting on cement when I should be. It's a, uh, it's, it's nice. It really does add to the dur durability of your fly if you add cement on a routine basis as you're tying. Now I haven't folded that feather, but I'm going to try to manage it anyway. So I think this is a Silver Doctor Blue Marabou. This happens to be Fish Hunter. Spay Plume Marabou. Really nice stuff. Now I was anticipating putting another blue plume on there, a darker blue. That's, I think this is called Flow Blue. But I'm going to pass on that. And I'm going to grab my Hollow Flashaboo. What color is this? I have no idea. It's kind of a very pale pink. Hollow. But I think I looked in the catalog and I couldn't find anything that was labeled pink, so who knows. I don't think it's critical. The reason I chose this Flashaboo was not so much for its pale pinkness. Ooh, that's a good phrase not for its pale pinkness, but for its uh, thinness and its flexibility. And I've fished this flashaboo and it really wiggles in the current nicely. So now I'm going to finish off this fly with some... Now what is this fly called? We're going to make up a name right here because the fact is when I'm tying steelhead flies, I often vary the pattern. Uh, this, you know, unlike a Hickman, Fish, Taco, Purple, which they are all tied the same, um, my flies, I often, sometimes I add a guinea hackle to them, sometimes I use Lady Amherst tail fibers. Uh, sometimes I do this or that. Lighter blue, darker blue, more purple, bright purple, dull purple. The main thing I'm looking for is the what, what's the overall color cast? Is it dark? Is it bright? Um, this fly has three of the most audacious steelhead fly colors you can ever combine, which is purple, blue, and black. How could you possibly go wrong with that? You can't. So let's call it purple, blue, and black, starting with the rear of the fly. Tube fly. Now I'm sure nobody has ever tied a fly like this. So this is a total original, so we'll call it Nicholas's Purple, Blue, Black. Marabou, Tube Fly. Oop, it's Marabou and Schloppen. Doesn't matter. Now my thread, I don't know if you heard that little bit of crinkling there. My thread almost caught on itself as I was tying my second whip finish. Got a little bit of cement on there. Now I have no idea where my um, where my lighter is. I'm gonna show you how I will trim this right there. I would normally um, I'm looking around. I can't see a lighter, so we're gonna. Oh, I know where my lighter is. No, I don't really. So we're going to let it go at that. 
That ding in the background is probably Hickman and Russell getting ready to show up. Here's this beautiful, gorgeous fly without the tube being sealed. Um, it'll fish for steelhead, uh, summer, winter, spring, fall. Um, have fun with it and get out there. Thank you.